Let's talk about four links. I just built this cool four link for a customer and I see lots of guys on the internet saying four links bind all the time. I'm going to prove that wrong. talk about four links and all the little uh i don't know what you call them wives tails they bind they don't work it's only for drag racing okay we're gonna talk about four link the triangulated four link because i see lots of link isms i don't know if that's a good word or a real word but that's what i'm using and one of the ones i always hear is bind right and only for drag race i'm gonna tell you wrong and wrong but right and right so you always hear oh there's a lot of bind in the four link there used to be there was a lot of bind on early designs of four links only because it was the limit of the design and there's still binds if you buy cheap imported non really designed stuff and what i mean by that if you buy a suspension that uses this kind of bushing from China and it just screws in, it's gonna bind. If it's got a polyurethane that's built into it, there's no flex in that, it's going to bind. So yes, if you buy a bargain basement, $300 universal kit from eBay or Jack's Pirate or whoever's selling a universal junk, it will bind. Cause you bought junk, it will act like junk. So let's pop over to some little displays I made and we'll talk about why. So I just threw together a real simple, uh, kind of like a test center. I mean, these are actual rear uh, brackets from Ride Tech, and this is a, a 69 Camaro uh, front leaf spring bracket. So like I was saying, if you buy if you buy a kit that has these kind of bushings and you've got a really good deal on it, um, there's the bushing. You put it in here and there's, there is no, there is no swivel. That is going to bind. And even, even this one that has, I don't know if I can take it apart and show you. No, actually, I have it on the other end over here. <clears throat> actually, that one there, see, it's got rubber on it. And that little bit of rubber will still have some flex. So out of this, you'll still get a little flex, but you still got bind. So cheaper bushings, bind, rubber bushing, bind. Now, if you have any of these and you can change them over, you know, if it unscrews like this does, buy a good set of Heim joints. Get them from QA1, order from us, order ride ticks, you know, whatever you want to get, because that, that look at how nice that movement is there's no bind there up and down left and right this here it has bind uh, that bolt's not even tightened down there's no nut on it there's nothing holding it in place it just binds because it's tight in there this one will go up and down but it won't go side to side and even on the big leaf spring pocket you know you find these in there well that's part of your rotation you know i can grab that with both hands and uh, I'm moving the cart. There's no, there's no movement. There's no rotation out of that. But if that's a Heim joint like this, come on, let's go look at the other model. Let's go look at the other model. So, so that is cool. So back along what we said, plain rubber, bind, Cheap Chinese stuff, bind. Nicely built Heim joint or Johnny joint or R joint, doesn't bind. And then we hear guys, you know, it, so here's what I saw. 
I did a little bit of research and I kind of checked it out. And what I saw was that a lot of you guys were talking about or watching off-road truck videos. Four links bind and you got to do three link and so on. Stop watching off-road videos to learn about your car performance suspension. And we'll talk about that right now. Before we even go to the cool display over there, let me show you something. Here, we have a cool four link that we built for a customer, but I want to show you something. You know, the average shock that goes in the back of these cars, there it is. That's fully extended, the full length of it. Well, that's about five inches of, of travel. So, when you put it in your car, that five inches of travel has to be split between compression and rebound. So your actual ride height, or actual usage of the shock, is probably about right there. So, let's say you get two and a half to three inches of movement. Well, the rear end only has to move that much. Off-road off -road truck guys are using 10 or 12 inches of travel. Well, and that's fine. So if you have your suspension mounted, your four link on, I want to show you something, how little bind there is in a four link. Do you see it? There's no bind. When it's properly built with heim joints on all four corners, there's no bind. I'm not, I'm not super strong. Look, that's one finger. That's it. There is no bind and look how high I can go. I go till the bar is literally hitting. No bind. Okay, so if you only have four inches of travel where your shock is mounted, so maybe you'll have six inches of travel on the outside. Do you think, think that's more than six inches? I think so. And honestly, if you use all five inches of travel that you have on your coilover or on your shock, your car probably rolled over. And um, you got more problems than a supposed bind in your system. I mean, look at, look at, I can pick it up, wobble it side to side. A properly built four link has no issues with bind. You bought cheap Chinese stuff, or you've got stuff that's 15 years old. You can update. You know, if you got if you got any of these on your car, you can update. It unscrews. Take it out, see what size that is. Buy a nice Heim joint to go in its place. Put it in. Put some little spacers in there, and boom, Bob's your uncle. You made a nice setup. If it's a rigid piece like this. And you've got your your bushing at the end and it's cheap doesn't wobble um you can have somebody custom build you arms you can go buy arms you can there's a lot of things you can do but don't blame it on the four link blame it on old technology and inexpensive price because a properly built four link like i was showing has no bind Man, I hope that helps. So, oh, drag racing. Mm, I hear that all the time. It's only for drag racing. Well, let's go take a look at that. I think, I think that they say it's for drag racing only is because they have the older style suspension that binds. Because if you have a new stuff, you know, like this, I have adjustable upper ears, which allows me to change my uh, anti-squat which creates traction. I have adjustable lower mounts also that allows me to change the angle of the lower arm which also can create or take away traction. The, I mean that I, I ran a four link I ran the ride tech four link for about 10 years on my race car autocrossing it did very well Won a couple of big, big events. We take it at road course. I had it on the Optima TV show for a while. I mean, I never saw an issue. So the drag racing only 
I think it's because they had suspension that binded or had a bind in it, so it didn't allow it to rotate or turn nicely in a corner. And I think that was the main reason for them saying, well, it's for drag racing only. You got to build a three link. Three link will have the same issues if you use the same junky ends on it. Torque arms will have the same issue if you have the same crap ends on it. You know, um, some companies use those ends and they're not junk. I mean, I think uh, Detroit Speed uses a nice polyurethane end and they also have a Delrin end. But what they did is they put a swivel right in the middle of the bar. So all the rotation comes, all the rotation comes from the middle of their bar. It actually has a split here and the two are connected with a, with a pin in the middle and it's greasable and it rotates. So that stays, that stays, but they, they move independently of each other right in the middle section. Um, QA1's new gear is doing the same thing. So um, they've all learned, they've all learned that the old bushings don't work unless you create a swivel or a movement of some sort. All right, well, that was just a really quick one. That's four links. And um, and Lincolnisms, cool. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Really, really, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, please. You know, whatever they do. I'm trying to follow a lot of my friends who have uh, told me to do this, and um, it's been fun. I'm having a good time. All right, bye.